Why well, hello lovelies, it's Tracy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and oh, it has been a long awaited comeback for me. So I have been posting over on Patreon for my Patreon lovelies, but the past few months there is like this tiny little thing on, anyway. Um, yeah, so I've been posting over on Patreon, but because I had a full-time film job the past few months, it was extremely hard to get all the videos that I wanted done. Um, I tried to pre-film as much as possible, so I did that for Patreon, and then there was a few weeks where I had to um, film and edit as well throughout filming. Um, that is for the movie not for YouTube so it was quite a few months <laughs> so even just before I started the job because I was so hell-bent on pre-filming as much as I could um, for patreon it was a lot so even though I had pre-filmed a lot of stuff there was still a lot of editing to do throughout the weeks and the weekend that I was working as well as you know trying to catch up as well on the weeks that I couldn't get up to. Um, so last week I had a nice rest, got to pre-film some stuff, also just like got to do some things that I haven't been able to because of the job like you know laundry which sounds super exciting I know but it's really not and just a whole bunch of other stuff so it's been really nice just to be able to do that, look after the house, my cat, um, my husband, I suppose. But yeah, and this is the first time that I've done like proper makeup on myself in such a long time. I really wanted to just be able to like feel really, I don't know, feel a bit flirty. <laughs> don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've really missed you lovelies and you know, I've just missed being able to catch up on a lot of stuff that I haven't, especially with like the Stray Kids comeback. And then I've missed Dreamcatchers comeback. So I'm excited to do that as well at some point. But I'm also going to be doing the Stray Kids concert. I'm going to be doing 17 concerts as well over on Patreon. So I'm excited to like get all the big stuff done that I haven't been able to do. Um, with Stray Kids Dominate concert, so I do have that concert which I screen recorded and I'm able to, you know, do a reaction to that over on Patreon, which I'm so excited. So that's coming up. Um, what else? Lollapalooza stuff, um, a lot of Stray Kids behind the scenes with the music video that I'm going to be doing and stuff on here as well as the Stray Kids album. So until then, I am going to be doing two videos that was requested by my super mega marvelous lovely. So thank you so much Willow. Um, she requested because I missed out on being able to film a lot of stuff um, during the months of July and August. Um, I asked her if she could give me her recommendations for those two months and that way I can film them when I am fully back. So um, yes, so I'm going to be doing the two videos that she requested, which was twice as pre-release English track Moonlight Sunrise music video, as well as the Stray Kids um, play with, what was it, puppies or kittens? I think it was the kitten interview. I think it was that one. So let me, do, I'll double check obviously before we go into it, but I'm so excited to be able to watch this because even just this little clip here of this music video, it already looks so aesthetically stunning. Like all these colors I'm all about. So yes, I'm very excited to watch these and get to hang out with you lovelies because it's been a hot minute, really has. Um, so, Yes, I'm so excited. So if you would like more exclusive content, you can head on over to Patreon. I have so much over there with K-dramas, Stray Kids, TXT, BTS, Seventeen. Um, and as I said, we have so much more going up there in terms of like 
like concerts and performances so I'm very excited for that as well as Jin content now that Jin is back from the military so when I finish um, season three of Bon Voyage I'm going to be doing some Jin content before we go into season four of Bon Voyage so there is so much content for us to watch and hang out and just be able to have some good times um, but yeah so there is literally so much over there so go check it out please check it out and see if there is anything of interest first before you join just so you think that you know it's gonna be worth it for you if not just hang around here and I can't wait to be doing more stuff with you lovelies so without further ado let's just get into the videos let's go I have no idea what this sounds like oh, stop it so gorgeous oh my god before we continue idiot in me have has not put subtitles on even though it's in english some of us who are a bit hearing impaired <laughs> which aka i feel like i've just gotten so used to just reading subtitles now i prefer it even if it's in english but yes let me just i was so blindsided by their beauty I really need to rewind. I guarantee I got you. I've been grieving for your love. Can't see nobody but us. So I, so I, so I see it from across the room. Ain't no way about you. I'm tripping over butterflies. I love that dress. This song sounds so familiar. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Okay, so. I am just so overwhelmed. First off, from their absolute beauty. Stunning, all of them. Um, the thing though that is a little bit, I don't, let me know if you think the same, but with all their outfits in the chorus here, um, I really feel like that Momo's outfit here seems so much more edgier than the rest of them. Don't you think? Like it seems more out of place to me. Like, it seems like she's about to go into a Dreamcatcher music video. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Love the outfit. But, like, everyone else looks very, like, sophisticated and, like, um, has a super elegant twist to their outfit. Like, it can be edgy, but also has this really classic and sophisticated look to it. Whereas I really feel like Momo's outfit is very like Dreamcatcher-esque like you know she's about to go into the music video for Vision or something either way all stunning also all their makeup is just absolutely beautiful like it it hurts it hurts me how beautiful they are like Geo stop it um <laughs> okay let's just play from here When you need it, say that you try, baby, you succeed it. Got a craving, baby, can you feed it? Took a trip on the moonlight, follow me to the sunrise. Every day, every night, hey, come with me, don't think twice. Oh, yeah, baby, I don't really need to rush, but I don't really need your touch if I'm a make it. I like how it, like how it is, um, 
transitions to each member. Oh god. The vocals. They're so pretty and so freaking skilled and talented is like they make everything look so freaking easy. Um, can I just say though, it is so like some of the hairstyles are super cool. Like, can I just say like some a hairstyle like this? You know, some people might think is super easy to do. And those of you who do your own hair or maybe you are a hairdresser or a hairstylist, this, <laughs> just this section alone, stress. So much freaking stress trying to get this perfect and stay like that. But not only that, it's not like she's just going to be sitting there pretty. Like if she's on a concert or in the dance choreography section of this music video, like to make sure she's not going to sweat and have this ruined is a lot of prep work. Like so much prep work goes into hair to make it look effortless. It's kind of like how, um, you know, no makeup makeup is sometimes super intensive, more than people think, as opposed to like quite a glam full on makeup just because the prep that has to go into both hair and makeup is a lot because it's one thing for it to look like this and stay like this that's great but if it does get messed up if she does get sweaty if it does get a bit humid like you still want it to stay quiet you know to spring back into the shape that you sort of set it in so it, there's a lot of work that goes into a hairstyle like this let alone just these waves that look oh so effortless but are also really hard to keep in someone's hair if they don't hold curl very well like I just I wish I had Asian hair because despite being half Asian my hair is fine I just have a lot of it so the coarse density that is Asian hair I'm so envious of like in order to have actual thick strands of hair Oh, my dream. I feel like if I had the same amount of hair that I do now, but instead of it being fine, it being thicker and coarser, I would I would be over the moon. And notoriously, a lot of people usually find that Asian hair is difficult to style or dye or anything like that. But I feel like they they usually try to fight against it instead of fight with it and figure out how best it's going to lay. I think it's more of an issue with men's hair, like short hairstyles, which is why if you've ever seen Korean men get their hair done, once they cut it, they usually perm the hair flat, like the hair that's around this, like the shortest part. And obviously the top part they don't do. They just perm the sides and the back because that's going to lay the hair flat instead of it growing straight like out because their hair is so coarse. It's, you know, it springs up because of just how thick it is. So, um, 
yeah anyway getting off the point off topic so yes that their makeup is just so freaking gorgeous like i love every single one of them how it really just you know they have their own little touches which make them like just super unique like i love these details and this hat i, I would love all these hats actually but i've I don't, have, I don't think I have a big head, but I feel like I have an average-ish size head, but I feel like because, A, again, my hair is fine and um, I have like a wide face, it somehow it's just make me look a bit ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I loved that music video so much, as well as the song, like, I again with twice twice is is like 17 for me like you th I think I've never heard a song before and then lo and behold it is definitely a song that has been playing in certain shows or shops or out in the wild and it is a show that show it is a song that I have heard before um which you know is always really fun because I'm like oh my god it's this song because sometimes I hear a song and then I try to go, you know, get Shazam up or something and it's finished <laughs> by the time I try to get it up. Um, but yeah, so I just love everything about everything. Like the styling is super cutesy, but also like a little bit sexy and a little bit edgy, like with the um chorus outfits and the sets as well i find super enjoyable like obviously some things are green screen but like things like this like a set like it it's it, it boggles my mind for music videos especially with korean ones because the amount of money they spend on these music videos compared to a lot of like um, like Australian music videos just for an example like I can't even think of a music video from an Australian artist that has been this like detailed and this you know just aesthetically pleasing like everything about this I'm pretty sure they would have built specifically for this music video so that is a lot of work and effort and money to go into it like just you know these little props and finding these things and this and it's just like oh, it, it's it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and they need so much more just oh I don't I have no words I've literally lost any words so in October, Simon and I will be going to Korea. So we'll be going there for about three and a bit-ish weeks. And we are so excited. But also, Simon's not going. I'm going alone because he was like, I don't think I'm going to be interested. And I'm like, okay, fair. Let's not spend the money if you're not interested in this. I'm going to be doing the NBC tour. So if you watch any Korean TV shows or networks and things like that NBC which um, produces shows like The Manager, I Live Alone um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of K-dramas as well that film through there so I'm going to be doing a tour of the broadcast studios and I'm so freaking excited because the film nerd in me is really geeking out but then also because obviously working in film um, I like to see how how different do they do things is there anything that they're doing different that we could do and have you know just a better time <laughs> like you know what are they doing that is probably better and more efficient and easier than how we do things which is why as well I have so many things planned I have so much vlogging that I'm going to be doing especially different experiences like I've booked um my I've booked for my hair and makeup and a photo shoot in Korea so I'm very excited to do that and get my hair styled and makeup for it and you know go through that process and 
show you guys maybe the differences in how Korean makeup artists do makeup compared to how we would, especially if it is for photo shoots or film and TV or stage performances. Like there is very huge differences in that. So I'm very excited for everything that's going to come. Like it is just so exciting. Um, but yeah, so I just love everything about this because like, are you kidding me? Like this, I want it. I want all of this. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say because obviously I love this music video. Twice is just such an iconic girl group. Like there is just nothing. And obviously their hair and makeup is always on point. So I just can't wait to hopefully do a, um, behind the scenes for the music video also can I just tell you four parts in the choreography are they wearing the hats they are so I have said this a few times in different behind the scenes videos especially I think it was probably stray kids um but when there is a hat involved in costuming or a film hair and makeup stuff like that it is very much a collaborative effort between hair and costume because a lot of the time if they're doing crazy movements with their head or if they're doing a stunt or anything like that that hat has to stay on <laughs> like so usually costume will sew like a little loop so that way we can attach pins to the head and then bobby pin and really lock down any headwear that the you know artist or actor might have attached or a stunt person because if that goes flying off in take and it's not supposed to if that's not scripted in that it, it has to come off you bet that thing has to stay on <laughs> which sometimes is an absolute nightmare so um just keep that in mind next time you see like a movie or anything like that where someone's wearing a hat and after a stunt, it stays on. That's how. Um, but yeah, so let's head on to the next video, which is Stray Kids Kitten Interview, I believe. We'll find out in a second. Okay, as you can see, it is the kitten interview. And I am super excited because I, th I don't remember if I filmed a video with a puppy interview with, with Stray Kids. I forget if I filmed it or if I just watched it on my own. Everything kind of just mashes in together, but I'm excited because as you know, as a fellow cat mum, I'm all about the cats. Um, this man we know is all about the cats. We know Felix is basically almost like a cat, um, along with Lino. It is literally I all my worlds colliding. My love for cats, my love for stray kids. So let's just get into it. Meow. 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 Hey guys, we are. Jesus uh, Christ. Thanks, yeah. yeah. I'm Felix. I'm Lino. Hi. I am. I am. Yeah. Yeah. And we are here with BuzzFeed to ask your questions playing with kitty. Yeah. We have Cat Daddy over here. Cat Daddy. Sitting in the middle. Cat Daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're looking forward to playing with the kittens. Yeah, I love Lino's Liana. smile. Are they coming? Oh. Lino's smile is just something else. How old are you? The fact that Lino knows how old they probably are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, cute. Squeak, squeak. Don't go. That's not the wrong way. It's the wrong way. No, you can't go that way. Stop it. There you go. Would you like some dinner? Yedra, <laughs> come to Papa. <laughs> New York cheesecake. Playing with kittens. <laughs> Playing with kittens. Pizza, New steak, York cheesecake. hamburger. I like Shake Shack. You like Shake Shack? Yes. It's Perfect. One, two, three, four. Pretty sure there was five. There was five, no? Yeah, how many salads you took? Look at you. It is already just super cute. Like, just how um, shocked Han was that one of them has already disappeared. But can we just appreciate um, these men? 
I just, we need to go back. <laughs> Pizza. I just love seeing them smile. I like Shake Shack. You like Shake Shack? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Pretty sure there was five. There was five, no? Yeah, one more is left. You're so cute. Look at you. Oh, it's so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so freaking wholesome. Riz. 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 Oh, yeah. Really? Riz. 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 <laughs> kittens. <laughs> kittens. Maybe like a stray kid's badge. Maybe my laptop. I would need a sword and a gun. Do you want to play? Oh. Wow, geez. Felix oh, just goes straight in. We recently met Chris Hemsworth at the Met. And the moment he saw us, he was like, Oh, I know two Australians. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <laughs> Chris is huge job. too. Come here, you kids. Come here, you kids. After the <laughs> performance, we said goodbye it's to Chris. It's very Chris. Chris it was just so funny that he lifted every single Stray Kids member like up as if he was doing a suplex. It was pretty memorable and yeah, yeah it was pretty fun. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> wow. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. Just kittens are so cute. Oh, I really want to oh, take you to my house. Yeah. Kittens. Kittens. <laughs> you don't bother, Buka? Oh, talk about it. You can tell they can't <laughs> um, multitask. Uh, this is a great big honor. It went well. I think. It's a very interesting thing. I've never had a special experience with a special experience. We said hi to a lot of people, actually. We said hi to um, Stephen Yoon. For me, the most, I guess, uh, memorable was uh, Baz Luhrmann. Baz Luhrmann. <gasps> Baz! But also, of course, the lovely D and Mrs. Hilfiger. And, and Tommy. Hilfiger. Tommy, yeah. It was a good moment. Bez is such Long a fun time. director. Police for Lino. Might have been an athlete, maybe an actor. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe an actor. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. maybe. I can see that. Teacher? Oh, Teacher? Uh, oh yeah. Like, uh, Kindergarten. Kid. I like his. Music director. Wow. Priest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I am. <gasps> I would buy the I'm crap into a lot of um, doing narrations, and I do narrations for our team. If I do ever get the chance, yeah, I'd love to like you know narrate a, like an animation, maybe a cartoon or like a Disney film. I'd love to do anything with my voice. Yeah, I'd love to try it. <laughs> Disney, anime studios, where are you? Cast this man already. He would be so freaking good. <gasps> um, oh, what? I feel like he would be obviously really good at an English dub version. What anime do you think he would suit? I feel like, now hear me out. I know he already has a phenomenal English voice actor who he is actually one of my absolute favorite anime voice actors that do dub. Um, but Black Butler. Just saying, just saying. Um, also, I feel like any particular world of anime that he would be really cool in is any fantasy as well, I think. Fairy tale, obviously, can't say no to that. Um, but it would be so freaking cool to have him play this gigantic anime character, like this full on massive masculine ginormous of a man <laughs> and to have it be Felix's voice I feel like that would be so freaking cool or even just to have like that villain type like the villain that is in a corporate suit and is very masterminding but has this deep oh oh come on come on Companies, what are you doing? We need to cast him. Okay. Continuing on. Pang Chan, Felix, Han, Jisong. 
양정인. 와, oh, so <웃음> simple. Yes. 찬이 형, 용복이 형, 리노 형, 한이 형. 형은 붙어 있네. 당연하지. CB97, 용복이, 이리 농. 이리 농. 아이엔, 황. 현진 <웃음> 성 부르고 말을 부르는 거 싫어. 황현진, 서창민, 스피비, 아 승민, 김승모. They keep escaping. Hey, you come here. Oi, oi, mate. Oh, sorry, baby. 오 잡았다, 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 잡았다. 오이 마이. 사이언스. He's like bad. Adorable. Hello, They have like an edit of us all in sync. Move oh, at the same time. Oh yeah, that's true. Look up at the same time. Do hand gestures at the same time. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. It's pretty cool. Because we're always um together 24/7, we just become like uh, identical twins. The way we act and the way we move around, it's just become so similar. So if we're doing makeup and we sneeze, I don't know. Sometimes two people can sneeze at once, or someone's itchy, someone can scratch the same ear. Yeah, it's funny. It's strangely weird, but it's funny. We're very dynamic with um, what we listen to, and we're very open-minded. <laughs> Sorry. We did think of like, um, let's say, collaborating with uh, Post Malone, yeah. Kendrick. We're very into like R&B or hip hop, or maybe like EDM. Yeah, like whoever. Yeah, whoever. Yeah. We're always welcome. Changbin loves to, I guess, come on, come on. give us a knuckle on the arm. He does this, he goes, bang! <laughs> so he like, kind of nudges us like this. It's not really nice. Oh, he corks you, yeah. yeah he corks us. He corks you. But it's funny. We always tease each other. We say the worst stuff to each other, but you know, it's all love and affection. We need more of that. I can talk to kittens. Hi. There was a really um, viral video on TikTok. A guy was like t teaching us how to call a cat. It was like, yes. I can't do it. And Can anyone else do that? Actually, come. Nope. No. Nope. Maybe maybe it's because they're still young. Roman Empire. 어 창빈이 형의 갑작스러운 외침. 와 이러는 거. 세상이 갑자기 좀비가 된다면? 오. 됐을 때. 아니면 또 다른 지구가 있다면? 오. 근데 있지 않을까? 아 어, 무조건 있지. 또 다른 지구에 나랑 똑같은 오, 사람이 오, 있다면. 오 마이 갓. 거기도 아이엔인가? 거기도 아이엔일까? 오 마이 갓. 헬리베이터. 헬리베이터. Why? Oh no. Because it's uh, our start song. Yes. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Elevator is a good choice. As time goes by, music trends and um, the way that people listen to music can be so different. But <laughs> out of the songs that would fit any generation, I would pick <sighs> God's Menu. God's Menu. Yeah, yeah God's Menu. menu. Nice. Back door. 신나기도 하고 뭔가 스트레이킷을 대표하는 곡 중에 하나인 것 같아서. Actually, I have something to say on that. So. I don't know if you lovelies remember, but when I first was getting into Stray Kids, um, or at least filming Stray Kids on my channel. So the show that got me into Stray Kids was Kingdom. Um, but I knew of Stray Kids before that because, funnily enough, Elevator was playing in Dangerfield, which is a store in Australia which sells more like alternative clothing. Um, alternative, but then there's also cutesy and gothic and kind of a bit of everything. Um, it was playing in Dangerfield and Simon really liked it. So he was shazamming it in the store. And because I was really into ATs at the time, like getting into them, he was like, oh, have you heard this group before? Um, like it's K-pop. And I was like, oh, no, I've never heard about Stray Kids before. He's like, oh, I really like this song, Hellevate. I was like, oh, OK, sick. Um Fast forward to me watching 80s on Kingdom and Stray Kids are on it. And then I'm falling in love with Stray Kids as well. And it's been like a whole dichotomy inside my soul. Um, and yeah, finding out that there's Aussie members and stuff like that. But I just found it so funny that even though I found Stray Kids years after they debut. So this was probably 2019 I discovered um, them. Well, not me. Simon discovered them. But it was funny that it was Hellevator that made him like Stray Kids and then tell me about it. Like, I just find that so funny in, like, a roundabout way how it's their pre-debut song. But I, it was, it came to us at a later date, which is really fun. So freaking cute. So cute. Ugh. <sighs>
Well, thank you so much for watching, lovelies. Hopefully you had fun. I definitely did. There was so much cool, just coolness that was the Twice music video because it really was super, like, beautiful to look at. Everything about it was so aesthetically pleasing, um, whether it be the computer generated imagery, the actual sets that they built, the members of course, but like their outfits so iconic. Like literally every Twice outfit is just so iconic and I really love like how the stylist I don't know as well how much input the members have with what they wear um, but just how all the pieces are put together to really just emphasize their personalities or their concepts and things like that is just really cool that it's very individualized um, also I really love cats <laughs> I the kitten video, oh my god, I was dying on the inside because A, I was like, those kittens are so freaking cute. Also, the members are so freaking cute and just wholesome. Seeing them play with kittens, answer questions, and it's it does what it says on the tin. It's just a wholesome, really amazing time. And um, I wish it was longer. That's the only thing. These videos are just, they need to be longer. Don't edit it. I don't care if they're not talking for like 10 minutes and just playing with kittens. I feel like we just watch that anyway. Um, but yeah, I just love, um, the answers we got as well was super interesting. And the, just the little, little bit of insights that we get into the members when they answer some of these questions that are maybe not as... Um, like there is a few typical questions that we normally get, but there's a, a couple in there that were very interesting. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to uh, watch more things from Twice and Stray Kids. So stay tuned for that, um, especially with Stray Kids with their most recent comeback. There is so much variety show content that I haven't been able to watch. So that will over be on. Wow, that will over be that will be over on patreon as well as i'll be doing some here on youtube so stick around for that i can't wait especially like the behind the scenes of the music video um the rest of the album stay tuned for that if it's not out on my channel already i don't know quite when this video was coming out but i'm very excited to be doing all of that um and felix getting his makeup done that's gonna be happening so <sighs> So there's many, many things to look forward to. So thank you so much for being here. I love you all so, so much. And I really want to thank, of course, the person that this these videos would not maybe have not happened without. And that is Willow. Thank you so much for your suggestions and for being a super mega marvelous lovely. Thank you so much to also the rest of my Patreons. Your names are beside me right now. I can't keep running this channel without you. So every bit of support that you lovelies show me, whether it is on Patreon, whether it is just here on YouTube is really everything I need. So thank you so much. I really can't um, extend my thanks and appreciation to the extent that I wish I could because there it's just endless. So thank you so much for being here and for sticking around, especially during my absence here on YouTube. Um, it was so much longer than I wanted to do in between videos. So thank you so much for your patience and for sticking around. It really means the world to me. And I can't wait to be creating more with you lovelies, especially when I do my career trip. I'm so freaking excited because as well, if you didn't know, the reason why we're going is because it's our 10 year anniversary and we haven't been on a holiday since 2016. So Korea is the closest place that we both really want to go to and experience. So we're going to be doing that. So we're very excited. Um, and I can't wait to share bits of it with you lovelies. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. I love you all so, so much and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.